Hello, my name is Ken Martinson, and I'm here to give you a proposal presentation for digital music stands and um, having them being used in our schools as a very valuable um, music educational tool. So first of all, what is a digital music stand or a smart music stand? Well, it could be um, two things. Commonly right now, um, what we do as musicians, we often put an iPad just on our stand and we read the music off of it. Or uh, we can go further than that, which is what I'm proposing, and we um, invest in the whole unit built in together. The, the tablet or the music reader part, um, the frame of the stand, and then the foot pedals um, all together as one unit. So um, the best way for you to see what a digital music stand is, is for me to just go ahead and show you. Uh, I'm gonna point this to my computer here. And you can see, this is what um, the stand basically looks like. Um, I'm gonna, you can see right here are the foot pedals in the frame of the stand, and then this is what you read the music off of. I'm just gonna play a little bit of this so you can uh, get an idea. Encore Digital Music Stand. It's an innovative combination of quality stand construction and touch screen technology. Like a regular music stand, the Encore Digital Music Stand can be easily adjusted to a new environment. However, instead of using cumbersome music sheets, the Encore Digital Music Stand displays two pages of music side by side to a 23 inch wide. So uh, you get the basic idea of what it is. Um, so it looks like a music stand. It just has the electronic uh, um, uh, a tablet on there to read the music from. Um, let me show you another uh, computer here. You can see here's a, uh, a tablet and um, I'm just gonna use my mouse here to show. You can see this yellow highlighting. Conductors can do that. Um, or they can even uh, do this, uh, it says take notes, um, and then uh, there's a, I believe a repeat sign, the conductor just marked in red there. So yeah, these stands have the ability for the teacher to write something on their pad and then it automatically goes into all the kids' music. So, um, you know, the message of the conductor is explained uh, very uh, efficiently and it's all right there for them to see. Um, so uh, let me also explain part of the product called the foot pedals, which I, I showed you already built into the stand. Uh, they can also be separate um, stand. You can see on this one, uh, there's the foot pedal and it's working with Bluetooth with this stand here. Um, here's a couple more. Here's one. This is one I actually use for my iPad. Um, I think this can connect to the computer, act as a Bluetooth there. Um, I'll show you some more. There's another one. I think some of the same ones there. Um, actually, so, um, yeah, that's the, the Bluetooth, um, uh, Basically, those things are, are great for turning pages, is, is mainly the, the use for those. Um, and uh, then I also wanted to sh explain to you uh, the, the iPad, um, if you're going to go that route, and using something that's called uh, a program called Fourscore. And I'm just going to put my pad up here. Um, you can see the music is, is on there. And you can physically turn the pages like that. I go back the other way. Um, you can also view your li a library of, of things up there. Um, pretty nifty device. Um, and these, uh, you can uh, store actually your entire music library if you like. Um, you can download things um, from the computer. Uh, as a teacher, you can, you know, email the kids the links to the music, um, and they can download it right into their 
uh, their music. Um, you can even take pictures of music and create files that way. Um, so, uh, now, okay, now to where I was before, um, showing you some of these other things. So you can actually buy stands that are specifically for these iPads. Um, also, this is probably a good idea, having an iPad charging station, if you're going to go that route. Um, so there's uh, actually in my search for products, the, the best one I found was actually, it was a portable um, foldable stand, which looks amazing. I'm going to show that to you right now. You can see there the... Um, right here is what it looks like all folded up and you can fold it out to uh you know a, a laptop that works on your desk and you can um, convert it also to uh, work with this stand that goes with it and then there's the the foot pedal down there um scroll down a little bit uh you can see how that it it bends into two halves there turns into that um, that to me looks like an amazing product, um, to have for your, for kids at school. Um, you know, assuming that the budget, uh, allows for such things, it'd be nice if we had all the money we could want, but I imagine that the price will get cheaper as time goes on too. Um, so now just to, uh, disclose, there are some problems with, the iPad system, which a lot of musicians use, um, they actually are, well, obviously they're very easy to fall off the stands. They can crack. Um, also the iPads are somewhat limited on what they can execute as, as far as programs, because they're just not as strong as, as actual laptops. Um, so, uh, one of those programs, um, is called Finale and it's a program that I've used quite a bit. Um, it's used for publishing. Um, you can use it for composing music. And the greatest thing about the program is that you can hit, uh, there's a playback feature where you can hear the music um, immediately, make sure that you know all the notes are correct and that it sounds uh, pleasing to the ear. So I'm going to um, show you my uh, program here. Uh, I just have to make a little adjustment. and make sure I got the sound correct. Test it, make sure. Not working yet, hold on. Okay. Okay, I've got it working. So here is uh, what the program looks like. Um, you can see the notes there. I'm just gonna hit play and you can see it scroll through. So that's just an example of something I've uh, actually um, published and, and distributed about a year ago. Um, so yeah, so that program can be used, um, you know, com to compose music. I've actually used it um, with kids and um, making music before. Um, and you can actually also use the program to complete your music theory assignments. Um, so it has uh, many uses. Um, so another, uh, talking about music theory, there's actually um, several programs out there available for students to use. Um, one that I liked is called Ear Master. And uh, I'm just gonna show you the site. And uh, so this uh, program is really good for, um, you know, teaching you about scales and chords and um, rhythms 
and singing, like uh, hearing things, singing things back. Uh, but uh, many uh, wonderful uses for that program. So, um, yeah, I view this proposal as being a transformative technology that can actually um, really help boost the level of, of the students and what they're able to uh, com complete and accomplish as far as their, um, their skills on learning the instrument. Um, it really, uh, you know, helps the conductors be more efficient in the rehearsals, you know, being able to mark things in the music, um, you know, like, you know, like, hey, play this section correctly, they'll highlight it, they can play it back for them, they can, um, you know, circle dynamics, hey, you're not playing loud enough here, um, you know, the tempo markings, expressive markings, you know, do some rubato or stretching here, play this expressively, um, you know, bowings, up bow, down bow uh, for string players, and articulation, so play the short, put an accent, put a hit on this, you know, play this long, you know, all these kinds of things are things conductors can talk about um, very quickly and, and highlight in the music. Uh, these um, also have a built-in tuner and metronome, uh, which is uh, great for students. Um, as I said, they can access these uh, music theory programs um, and, uh, and hearing things uh, back uh, you know, highlighting the sections of music and hearing it back. So, um, in summary, uh, I really believe these products, um, this product will help make efficient uh, rehearsals, um, better level of preparedness. It'll give the kids a, a higher level of music theory, which will in turn uh, make them better performers, smarter musicians, um, understanding the music they play. And thirdly, um, they can, this uh, technology allows for kids to expand on their creativity and hopefully, you know, even compose music um, and, and be a tool to unleash uh, the potential in all of our students. Thank you for listening to my proposal.